Finally, the Java has come to my city. I'm about to enter the showroom with all my excitement. Inside, here are three Javas. An old Java, a Nebula Blue Colored 42, and a Maroon Java. My first impression is that the bike is small. It's mainly because of the low and flat seat like the old Java. Also the headlight too positioned a little lower. That near flat handlebar too contribute to that feel. But the Java's handlebar and headlight are positioned higher in comparison. So it looks taller from front. The bike is not at all bulky like the bullets. It's really a compact machine. Engine is definitely the center of attention. It's a 27 BHP 28NM double overhead cam 4 valve unit. The chrome plated crankcase covers are eye catching. The machined cylinder head fins is giving a premium feel to the Java. The radiator will remind us that it's a liquid cooled motor. The radiator is quite big. Exhaust is not independent pipes like we see or pursue. It's actually going into a chamber from here and exit that from here before going to the rear pipe. Both silences are same on this, but it's not easily noticeable. The engine guard is also for hiding that chamber. The steel metal covering gives it a look of a single pipe from front to rear. Anyway, the sound is punchy. could be adjusted for 5 different sounds by using a tool from behind. There is not much storage space available inside the side cover. It could keep the vehicle registration papers, tools and first aid kit. The cover is of metal, but the rest which is in black color is plastic. Same on the other side too. The seat is bolted. The 14 liter tank is very attractive. Paint quality and fit and finish is not bad. The classic looking speedo is an electronic unit. It was of metallic gold color on the launch time images, but now it's black. All essential telltale lights such as coolant temperature, ABS, neutral indication, engine check, turn signal, low fuel warning, high beam, low battery are present. Also have a fuel gauge and a digital auto, but they skip the trip meter. 42's dial is also same, but in a separate offset case, and is the most attractive of the two. Both have same design tail arm, but it's more attractive with the Nebula Blue. 42 barging is there on the rear mudguard. Clutch feels light. The front shock observer is a heavy duty one. Handle lock and ignition are separate and is here. The black colored Biber caliper and disc also have some classic flavor to it. The 18 and 17 inch wheels are showed with MRF sappers. The thing which is bolted underneath the steering tee is a regulator rectifier I think. Not seen this in any bike before in this position. Java budgings are all around the bike. The showroom is themed in the old Java nostalgia but mildly. They haven't started giving test rides, so have to wait for an another week for a ride. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.